In this video, I'll show you how to finish off your knotted strands. In this case, I have turquoise beads that have been knotted on a number eight silk beading cord. And I already have one half of my necklace complete. The bead tip is attached to the end of the strand and one half of the pearl clasp is already attached. The other half of my necklace is being held in place by one of these bead bugs, item number BB072. To start, remove the bead bug and this is just used primarily to hold your place so that the beads don't come off the strand until you have it secured. Take your cording and take one of these bead tips. So we'll be using this bead tip, item number BD215, to finish off our other half of the necklace. Take your cording, feed the cording through the back of the bead tip, and then slide the bead tip all the way until it meets the rest of your bead strand, like so. At this point, Take the remaining cord and make a quick overhand loop with the cording like so. At this point, you can use an awl or a pair of tweezers like what I have right here, item number TW522. Take your tweezers and you'll be coming in through the loop like so and grabbing a hold of the cording right next to where the bead tip meets up with the cord, which should be cinched up very tightly next to that last bead. Grab hold of the knot and then pull the cording so that it's nice and tight. Your grip on these tweezers is nice and tight as well. You don't want your tweezers to slip off the cording at this point. It's very important that you have a nice tight grip on both the cord and the tweezers. So pull tight, then with your non-dominant hand, take your thumbnail and put it right next to that knot, like this. Loosen your grip on the tweezers and back them out slowly from the knot. Take your thumbnail and pull. You can, at this point, take your tweezers, put them on the other side of the knot, and then pull the tweezers down as well. What you're trying to do is you're trying to make this knot nice and tight and as close to the bead tip and the bead as possible so that there's no slack in between either part. Take a small drop of glue. I like GL400 for this, not super glue. So just put a small dab over the knot and allow it to sit for about 10 minutes to dry completely before cutting the rest of this cord away. To finish closing off your bead tip, cut away the remaining cording and you don't have to cut the cord right next to the knot. Leave about a millimeter's worth of cording tail so that there's no way that the cord will slip back out of the knot. Take your round nose pliers and come into this rounded part of the bead tip and slowly roll this part of the bead tip over. Not completely, but just roll it over enough so that you can slip the other half of the clasp on. Take the other half of your necklace and slip the jump ring for the clasp over this rounded part of the bead tip. Then take your round nose pliers again and finish closing that small tab. You'll know it's closed when the tab touches the back half of the bead tip. To close the bead tip, I like to start by taking my thumbnail on my non-dominant hand and closing the bead tip slightly, just to get it started. Then I'll take my chain nose pliers and close the bead tip the rest of the way. This is how you finish off a knotted strand of crystals, pearls, or beads.